Okay, this is an approximate location of Punta Sur dive site. All right, right now is a good time to talk about nitrogen narcosis. I think a lot of beginning divers um, might read about this or hear about this in their classes and freak out and think they're gonna get high underwater and start giving their regulator to a fish. <laughs> it's kind of the running joke. Um, it is different for every individual. Um, some people might have very mild effects and some other people might be, you know, almost incapacitated for lack of a better term and have to come up to shallower depths. One of my dive masters when I was getting my certification talked about a story that there was a certain individual that they would dive with where pretty much when they'd hit a certain threshold of a certain depth the person would just start to act funny. They would just kind of look around at their hands and they'd kind of forget they were diving and then they'd bring them up like five or ten feet and they'd, they'd be fine. So nitrogen narcosis is a really really weird thing. Um, it's very individualized, and what it has to do with is the partial pressure of nitrogen in the air that you're breathing. So as you go to depth, the partial pressure of uh, nitrogen, as well as oxygen, increases. And that has, the nitrogen has a narcotic effect on the nervous system. Right here at this point, I started to get an adrenaline rush out of nowhere, completely... Um, there was no warning. It just happened out of nowhere. My heart rate increased. My respiration rate increased. Um, and sometime in between that last computer check and right when I, you know, mentioned this, we hit our deepest point, uh, or at least I did, of 114 feet. And they say that pretty much every, um, I want to say it's every 10 feet past 100 it might even be like 90 is like drinking a martini they call it the martini effect i believe or something like that either way so for some people they become increasingly more um narked as you might say as they get down in depth so at this point when i was going through this swim through instinctually i wanted to go up to the surface but you remember all of your training and you remember that you can't do that <laughs> your lungs will explode um, so 
I started to focus more on filming, focus more on the beauty of the environment. I mean, if you look around, these rocks are huge. These coral formations are amazing. And just thinking about how surreal it is being at this depth as a human being breathing. So I really got into my head, even though my body was doing weird things and I had a little bit of looming anxiety. I knew that as we'd come up to the surface, uh, as we'd get up to shallower depths, I would start to feel better. So right about here, I kind of got my head straight. We're out in the open, the water's pretty clear. Um, we're still at about 100 feet here. I, um, I started to feel a little bit better and then I just tried to pay more attention to my dive computer and filming. Um, and then about three to five minutes after the initial feeling, I um, started feeling okay, started feeling better. I knew that as we'd come up, I'd feel better. So I just kind of focused on the dive and took it easy. I think this is one of those kind of dark secrets of diving. Not everybody really talks about nitrogen narcosis is, you know, it's a thing. It happens, and I knew that it, there was a very big possibility that something would happen on this dive, but I kept my cool. You know, this is what all the training is about. I kept my cool and had a fun dive, you know. It was um, 114 feet is nothing to laugh at. That's pretty deep. So hopefully you enjoy my little talking about my dive. All righty, let's talk about my dive computer. So if you look at the pink letters, it says current depth. Right now we're at 100 feet to the right of that in blue letters that are really hard to see. It's also hard to see on the dive computer, but it does say that the max depth of this dive was 114 feet. 114 feet is 34.74 meters. And then the middle number outlined by red talks about the bottom time at current depth to remain within the no decompression limits, which is the definition of recreational diving. When you do recreational diving, you stay within the no decompression limits, although you do take a three minute safety stop at five meters or 15 feet just to um, make sure you clear out any more residual nitrogen and also the greatest pressure change happens between zero feet and 30 feet or um, zero meters and 10 meters. And then let's look at the bottom left. You see in the greenish letters, CNS O2 toxicity percent. Um, dive computers will keep track of your residual oxygen toxicity um, in your system and depending on how long your surface intervals are you might actually get close to those numbers over a couple of days especially if you take longer dives and deeper dives and whatnot bottom right in the yellow is current temperature obviously